So in this video, we'll actually look into another interesting topology for ISIS so that we can cover some of the topics which we did not discuss, you know, uh, some of the things like metric types, authentication, summarization and so on, right? So uh, I have a very basic, uh, you know, topology here, right? So I have ISIS uh, uh, configured in three different areas and EIGRP in one of the area, right? So let's start configuring everything one, one by one and let's see what we can learn out of this, right? So we'll start by configuring the EIGRP section, right? Which means the R1, R7 and R8. Let's do R1. So R1 is going to be basically, let's do show IP interface brief. Okay, let's enter the conf mode and uh, router EIGRP. So in this case, I'm actually going to use like the named mode of EIGRP, right? Because we haven't done much of, we normally use the classic mode. So I just want to use the named mode so that we understand this as well. So uh, the IPv4 autonomous system, let's call it as 100, right? The network, what networks do you want to advertise? The 17, 18, right? let's take the 17 network. Let's uh, do the 18 network. And let's also probably go and advertise the 11 network as well. Right, one of the loopbacks. Okay, makes sense. Moving on, which is the next one? So we did on R1, we did the EIGRP, let's do it on R7. IP interface brief. Right, we have this 77. Probably let's create some loopbacks here. I might need this, so let's do. Uh, Interface loopback 201 and it's going to be 207 probably dot 1 dot 4 dot 1 Right, let's create 202 And it's going to be probably 5 sorry It's going to be 5 right and the other one is 203. Let's make it 6.1. Right. Then the last one is let's make it uh, 4 and 7.1. Right. So just created a bunch of loopbacks. So this is how it looks. Uh, do show IP interface brief. Right. Now let's go and enable our uh, uh, EHRP. Right, so we do router EIGRP. Sorry, router EIGRP the named mode. Right, I can use a different name as well because the name is just locally significant. Address family IPv4 um, autonomous system is going to be 100. The networks, what networks? 17. Let's advertise the 17 network, right? Dot zero. 17 network the one which is in between this right uh, so I'm using basically this format for my addressing 192.1.x.xy.0 where x is the smaller number right between r1 and r7 x is going to be 1 and y is going to be 7 and let's also do this on what 7 network let's do this on 77 network and also let's do this on uh, my uh, 207 network as well. I can do this in one statement by using this wildcard mask dot 255.255. Dot .255. Great. So there you go. We have done EHRP. Now we should actually be seeing the routes on probably my R1. If I do uh, to show IP route right uh, EIGRP we should get the routes see we get the routes between R1 and R7 so that's good moving on R8 let's clear the screen what do we want we want R8 so uh, let me see what do we have show IP interface brief okay that should be enough so let's go and enable configure router EHRP probably let's call it as ABC 
address family is IPv4 autonomous system and uh, 100 network what networks this one the 18.0 and let's do this on uh, the 8 network as well and uh, the other one is the 88 network the 88 network is here good now we should have all the connectivity between r1 r7 and r8 you can see that i can do show ip route and if i do a ehrp you'll see i basically see my r7 i see my r1 as well right great now let's start with my isis so we'll start with this area right the first area one i would call it right so if you look at this it's very important now to design which router is going to be l1 l2 and all of that right so if you look at this area one you see it's like a stub right there's nothing else connected here after this right so i could basically also you can see this has just one exit point right so i can make my r10 as my l1 router right because um, you know there is nothing else later here connected so that r10 doesn't have to form a relationship with any other area right so that's why i'm making r10 as my l1 and i'll make my r4 as my l1 l2 right because it has to form uh, area relationships or l2 relationships with other guys right so r10 let's go to r10 let's clear the screen show ip interface brief what do i have here uh, probably let me create just like earlier let me create a couple of loopbacks might be useful so let me create loopback 201 ip address 200.1.4.1 right similarly let's create uh, yeah, loop back two, and it's going to be five dot one. And similarly, let's create three. It's going to be six dot one. And the last one is four, and it's going to be seven dot one. Right? There it goes. So I've created a bunch of loop packs just to so that I can use them later. So IP interface brief should have it. Yep. Let's enable my ISIS. Right, so it's going to be router ISIS. We have done this in the previous video. The net ID was going to be 49 dot. It's area one, so I'm going to one. Uh, then because it is router 10, I'm going to use I don't know 1010 would good. Yeah, zero and zero one zero dot. The zero zero part is common for ISIS. Right, I'm making IS type level one because it's the level one area level one type of a router my bad right and let's go and enable uh, on ethernet 00, 0 ip um, router isis looks good so that's on ethernet 0 i'll have to do the same thing on my uh, loopbacks as well let's do this on loopback 0 ip router isis gonna do this on loopback 201 right 202 203 and the last one is 204 good awesome let's move on let's next configure r4 which is my l1 l2 right clear the screen a bit show ip interface brief okay uh, probably i would need a couple of loopbacks here as well to explain some of the concepts so let me make this let me add some loopbacks here uh, loopback zero sorry let's actually make it uh, loopback 201 right ip address is going to be 204.1.4. Uh, probably one right would be good and 255 I'm just adding some of these so that I can kind of like explain the uh, re summarization better later, right? So let's add a five. Let's uh, probably do three and add uh, six as well. And the last one being let's uh, sorry, I think that did not go. So it's six, and the last one is two zero four, and that's going to be seven. Okay, so once I've done this, now let's go and enable my 
uh, router IS has and the net ID which is important it's still in area 1 4 4 this is system ID right then I'll put a 0 at the last and Ethernet 0 slash 1 uh, let's enable it up there because you want it where 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 0 right so IP router ISS probably let's do this on 0 slash uh, 0 right IP router ISS gotta do this on loop pack 0 loop pack 1 as well and uh, the other loop packs which I created just now 201 let's do this on 202 203 yep and the last one is 204 great so we have enabled this haven't we so it should all be good do we have neighbor ships let's see might take some time to come up but let's see show is sorry neighbors yeah so you have the l1 relationships coming up between my r4 and r10 because r10 is a l1 router right let's continue uh, the next part which is let's go to this other area which is uh, my area 2 here right so now on my area 2 because this area 2 is again kind of acting as a transit right between these two areas so it's better to always have them as l2 right so let's make this guy l2 right uh, let's also make this guy L2. We can obviously keep it L1, L2 uh, default, but then you know we'll be wasting the resources, right? Basically creating two different uh, databases and relationships and so on. So we'll just explicitly go and make these two guys L2. So let's do that on R2 and R1. This is my R2. So if I go here, I can do the show IP interface brief, right? We have a bunch of things here. Let's do config router isis net id is basically 49. Here it's going to be 2. Uh, this is the system id, and once you're done with that, you can go and make them is type level 2. Right? And the obviously interface would be Ethernet 0 slash uh, 0. Uh, let's make it IP, sorry, um, IP router isis. Right, also do this on Ethernet 1 uh, ISIS and the other one is the loopback address. Let's make this on loopback 0, should be ISIS. Okay, so we have enabled everything on R2. Now let's go and do it on R1. Right, so router um, ISIS, router ISIS, let's go and do net 49.002 because it's area 2. And this is going to be my system ID, right? And the interface, uh, IS type, the IS type is important, right? What level do I want? I want a level 2. Make this interface Ethernet 0 slash 0, IP router, sorry, ISIS. Uh, let's make this on loopback as well, right? Why do I do it on Ethernet 0 slash 0? Because that's the guy which is connected here. Right, and then obviously enable it on loopback zero as well. So that should be good. Okay, so now we'll do something fun. What we'll do is we want the EHRP routes to be seen inside my ISS. So to do this, obviously we have to do redistribution. Whenever two routing protocols have to talk to each other, we have to redistribute. Now R1 you see here is kind of acting like my ASPR, right? So you have to do the redistribution on this one. This guy has both EHRP and ISS. We are trying to redistribute. So how do you redistribute? Let me clear the screen a bit. You go inside router, uh, sorry, ISIS, and you say redistribute. What do you want to redistribute? EHRP with the autonomous number of hundred. That's it. That will that will just redistribute all my, um, you know, EHRP routes inside my ISS. right we can test that as well or let me do the other part let me also redistribute so it's a two-way process right you do EHRP into ISS then you need to do ISS into EHRP so that these guys also have connectivity so to do that now you go inside router EHRP I believe I used ABC and you need to go inside address family IPv4 autonomous system 100 right now again you need to go inside topology base 
right this is because it is the uh, named mode of EHRP and inside this you go into your redistribute what do you say redistribute as as with the metric because you are redistributing into EHRP and to give the metric and when you are doing this for a named EHRP mode it is always better to put a metric greater than one not just one or at least for the first two metrics right the bandwidth and uh, the delay right the rest of them you can obviously keep it to be one it's fine right so now we have done both the things we have done EHRP into ISIS, ISIS is into EHRP. Where do we see my results? I can go down to my R10, right? The R10 router which is here. Let me clear this. And what we can do is we can do show IP route here. Right? So IP route just ISIS is enough. Okay, it's still not come up. We are supposed to get L2 routes on this one. Mm, wait, this is on my R10, right? Uh, did I make a mistake? Give me a second. Let's see. Okay, looks good. Probably it should take a bit of time. Let me see if. Um, uh, okay, oh, sorry, this is R10, right? Okay, so the L2 route should be actually there on R4, right? Because that is my uh, router which, which is L2, my bad. So if I go to my R2, you will now see show IP route ISIS. See, you can see the routes, um, you can see the 7, you can see the 8, 77, 80, 88. Where are these actually coming from? They are actually coming from EHRP, right? And they have been injected into my. Uh, ISS right similarly the other way around ISS will uh, sorry R7 will have my ISS routes R7 though it is having HRP but it will now have my ISS routes I can check that so I can do a clear screen here enable and show IP route right I do this and you can see the uh, routes right so for example the two network the two network is actually coming from here which is ISS route which has gone there Right, you can see the four network which is actually inside here. So we have now successfully redistributed right between EHRP and OSPF. Oh, sorry, uh, ISS. Right, we can also check the connectivity. So if I go to my R10, right, so you can see R10 will not have the L2 routes because it is a L1 router, but still you will have the connectivity because you have a default gateway. Right, so if I want to do a ping, right, if I do want to do a ping, I can do a ping to any router in my EHRP domain using my uh, loop pack. I think this is my loop pack. Maybe that is not my loop pack. Where is my loop pack? Show uh, IP interface brief. Maybe I have not advertised that, so maybe I have done this on 10. So let's do 10. Yeah, there you go. So you can ping uh, R7, you can ping R7 from R10, right? So basically, you have this whole connectivity up between ESRP and ISS, right? Let's continue to the last area, which is my area 3. So in area 3, what do I do? I will uh, go to area 3, which means I will do something on my R1. Right, so on R1 I have to configure. Now in area 3 what we will do is we will configure very similar to this area. Right, You can see R5, R6 we can make them L1s because you don't have any area after this. It is not a transit area. It is it's just like a stub. So we will make these both guys L1s but at the same time R3 will make it L1, L2 because it has to form L2 relationship here. Right, so R3 do we want or we will we'll start with R1. Let us do R1. Okay, so on R1, uh, we have to enable router ISIS. Let's go to router ISIS. Right, and we will enable it on this interface. I don't know if I have done this already, um, but okay. So I have to suppose to go to interface Ethernet 0 slash 1 and IP router ISIS. Right, so I have enabled it on this interface here. The rest of it is just you need to do it on R3 now. Right, and it's a L2, L1, L2 router because it's the edge. Show IP interface brief. Good. Let's go and do this. Let's do 
router ISIS right let's do the net part it's a different area so be careful with that that's good now we will do this on loopback 0 IP router ISIS we'll do this on loopback 1 we will do the next one on interface ethernet 0 slash uh, 0 right we will do this on 1 as well good the last two routers which is r5 and r6 we are going to enable it as uh, l1 right so let's quickly do that let's clear this so on r5 let me see what do we have show ip interface brief configure router ISIS the net is going to be what I did here right it's going to be uh, this part this part is going to be common because it's the same net uh, same area but the system ID has to be different right system ID is good the IS type will make them level 1 here okay the interfaces important uh, IP router ISIS gonna enable it on the 0 slash 0 let's enable it on 0 slash 1 and probably a few other things like uh, uh, we'll probably need to do this on loop pack 0 let's also probably do this on loop pack 1 right and uh, yeah I think that should be good right so that's my R5 right so on my between my r1 and r5 uh, uh, okay so now what we have done is this will r3 will form a l2 relationship with, with r1 right so r1 should see the routes of r3 and r5 let's see if that is working so go to my this thing if i do do show ip route isis right you can see the five network coming here right which is basically my r5 and the three coming here which is my r3 so these both are correctly configured the last one to be done is my r6 let's wrap this up quickly show ip interface brief right so i have that and let's do conf router isis the net is basically 49003 and 66 six, sorry Six 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 and the zero the network part or let's do is type is type probably level one and the interfaces is ethernet zero slash zero ip router isis and uh, do we want a loop back yeah let's do this on loop back right oh my bad and the other part is uh, okay I think I screwed it up right okay the other one is loopback one and let's do it around that yep that's it done so we have configured the whole network now it's time to just analyze this right so let's look at my r6 what's happening on my r6 this is my r6 so if I do uh, to show IP route and I do ISIS you can see you can see here um, we have the default gateway right you have the default gateway here on my r6 the reason because this is like a l1 router right so it's a l1 router so it won't have like specific routes to my other areas it will just have a default gateway right very similar to what we had on my r10 right similar to that r6 is going to behave the same way right if we had another area connected to this guy then i would have made all these routers as l2 because then that would be like a transit area and it's always good to have l2 in your transit area right now let's look at a couple of other things right for example metric in isis you have two types of metrics mainly one is called as the narrow metric other one is the wide metric narrow is like a 24 bit value and uh, wide is like a 32 bit value so if you're using uh, features like mplst route uh, redistribution with tagging and stuff then you need to use the wide metric right at the same time the uh, router also has the capability to use another metric called transition metric which is 
which makes the router kind of like accept or receive and send like both uh, both narrow and wide right so it's a combination of both or it's a kind of like a mutation of narrow and wide metric right mainly there are two whereas the third one is kind of like a combination of those right how do you configure this you can go under any uh, router so you can say like for example here i can go inside router as as and i can say metric style right i can say metric style and i would need to do wide right by default it is narrow but you can do wide as well right so this is how you can configure the metrics so if you want to explicitly change the metric you can do this it's basically going to uh, kind of like recalculate all your iss algorithm and so on right but you have a flexibility of doing that the other part is the authentication path right so authentication in iss you can do uh, very similar to how you do it in uh, you know ehrp you have this clear text and md5 right so let's do probably between uh, uh, between my uh, r uh, r10 and r4 right let me go to r10 let's do the clear text so what you do for clear text you go and do your keychain define your keychain here right the key id is 1 the key string is let's say cisco and uh, you need to go under the interface in this case ethernet 0 slash 0 right um, go under the interface and we say isis authentication mode text right and then you're gonna put in keychain right keychain the keychain which you defined earlier abc right so that is basically your uh, authentication so you need to obviously you can see now the uh, um, neighborship went down because you did it only on one interface you need to do it on the neighboring guy as well which is r4 and you'll have to do the same thing on r4 0 slash 1 so we'll do the same thing go here uh, let's define the same thing keychain right let's call this abc key id is 1 key string is cisco okay interface zeros ethernet zero slash one and as has authentication mode is text right and uh, as has authentication uh, key chain is basically abc right now for doing uh, md5 it's exactly the same thing the only difference is that you just need to see now uh, it would come up right once uh, so i can show do show as has neighbors see now it has come up the neighborship has come up it was earlier failing but now it has come up because we have the authentication the same uh, key string configured between both right now the other thing is we can also kind of uh, do md5 authentication right md5 you just need to go here and change uh, the mode to md5 as simple as this so obviously you need to do it on both the sides so i do it here i need to do it on r4 as well otherwise you see it will start failing again so once you do it on both sides it becomes your uh, you know md5 authentication right the last part is how do you summarize right summarization you can do only on the l2 router you obviously can't summarize on a l1 router so on it can summarize either you know your local connected routes or the routes which you have received as l1 routes so you can do either of them right in l2 on a l2 router you cannot summarize routes that are received as l2 routes right so this is very important uh, and L1 obviously cannot summarize at all, right? So we could check that on my um, R10, right? If you look at my R10 here, look at my R10 now. If I do do show IP interface brief, you'll see there are like 200 routes, right? So and these are obviously seen on my uh, uh, R4 as well, right? So if I do show IP route as as you'll see these 200 routes are seen here as well see here it is right the 200 routes now if i summarize these routes on my r10 which is my l1 router right it won't actually work so i can show you that router as as i do summary address right for summarizing we have done this a lot of times before so i'm going to directly do the summarization here 255 the summarized mask is 252.0 right so if I do this, now if I go to my R10, sorry, if I go to my R4, right, I summarized, I basically what I did was I summarized on this interface over here, right. So 
ideally uh, you know the routes which are going like this have summarized it so on r4 i should have the summarized routes but you see here i still get the whole network the 200 network here not working right so what is it summarization doesn't happen because r10 is my l1 router and it has no capability to summarize so what you do is you need to l2 router is the one which summarizes l1 routes which are leaving the area right so you need to summarize on the l1 router sorry on the l2 router and what you will summarize the l1 routes which are leaving the area so on r4 i will do this now right so let's try this on r4 if i go i do uh, conf i do router isis right and uh, summary address right and i can do 200.1.4.0 255 252.0 right so now i summarized here which means let's uh, see uh, did it get summarized we can check that on r2 because that is the router on the other side right so if i do this you can oh my bad r2 i can check that on r1 as well or yeah so you can see here you have a summarized route here 200.1.4.0 right similar route you should be able to see even here as well show ip route iss even on my r2 you'll be able to see just one statement or the you know one line kind of summarizing the whole 200 network right so always when you want to summarize you're going to do this on a router which is l2 capable and all the l1 routes which are coming towards you can summarize on here and it will only the summarized route will be sent